In the vast tapestry of life on Earth, insects represent one of the most diverse and widespread groups of creatures. While many are harmless or even beneficial, others are known for their deadly and dangerous attributes. From venomous bites and stings to disease transmission, these insects captivate our attention, instilling both fear and fascination. This exploration will delve into the lives of the top 15 most deadly and dangerous insects in the world, revealing their intricate behaviors, ecological roles, and the threats they pose to human societies. Number 1. Africanized Honeybee The Africanized honeybee, Apis mellifera scutellata, often dubbed the killer bee, is a hybrid bee species originally created by crossbreeding the African honeybee with various European honeybees. These bees were first bred by Brazilian scientists in the 1950s, aiming to boost honey production in tropical climates. However, several swarms escaped quarantine in 1957, leading to the spread of this new, vigorous hybrid throughout the Americas. The Africanized honeybee is smaller than its European counterparts, but has several distinctive characteristics, including their aggressive behavior, rapid reproduction rate, and ability to thrive in varied environments. Their aggressive defense mechanism has garnered them a formidable reputation. When disturbed, they can chase intruders for over a quarter of a mile, with the entire colony sometimes participating in the attack. Their rapid reproduction is another factor contributing to their successful spread. They mature quickly, enabling them to establish new colonies at a faster rate than other bee species. This ability, combined with their hardiness in different climates, has allowed them to spread rapidly from Brazil northward throughout South and Central America and into North America. Despite their aggressive nature, Africanized honeybees play a crucial role in local ecosystems. They are prolific pollinators, aiding in the reproduction of a wide variety of plants. In some regions, they have filled the void left by declining populations of native bees, becoming an essential player in maintaining biodiversity. However, the presence of Africanized honeybees is a double-edged sword for human societies. On one hand, they enhance pollination and honey production. On the other, their aggressive nature poses a risk to people and domestic animals, often leading to fear and misunderstanding. Managing this delicate balance is a significant challenge, requiring a nuanced understanding of these complex creatures. In essence, the Africanized honeybee embodies nature's tenacity and adaptability. Their story serves as a testament to how human intervention can unintentionally alter ecosystems and how those ecosystems can adapt and persist in the face of change. Number 2. Bullet Ant The bullet ant, Paraponera clavata, named for the intense pain inflicted by its sting, is an extraordinary insect species found in the rainforests of Central and South America. Their powerful sting, paired with their complex social structure and unique life cycle, makes these ants an intriguing subject of study. Bullet ants, known locally as Hormiga ventiquatro, or the 24-hour ant, are among the largest ants in the world, growing up to an inch in length. They are renowned for their sting, which is considered the most painful of any insect, likened to being shot by a bullet, hence the name. The pain is known to last for up to 24 hours, hence their local name. These ants live in large colonies, often comprising several hundred individuals, and like many ant species, they have a highly organized social structure. Each colony is divided into castes, with roles ranging from workers who gather food and maintain the nest, to soldiers who defend the colony, and a queen who is responsible for reproduction. Bullet ants are predatory and forage for small arthropods, which they paralyze with their sting and carry back to their nests. They also feed on nectar and are known to form mutualistic relationships with certain tree species, protecting them from herbivorous insects in return for shelter and food. The life cycle of a bullet ant is intricate and fascinating. They undergo complete metamorphosis, progressing from eggs to larvae, then pupae before becoming adults. The queen, the only reproductive female in the colony, lays the eggs, and the larvae are cared for by worker ants. 
Intriguingly, bullet ants also participate in a unique rite of passage in certain indigenous cultures, such as the Satere Mawe people of Brazil, who use these ants in their warrior initiation rites. Despite their fearsome reputation, bullet ants play a significant role in their ecosystems. They contribute to controlling the populations of other insects and small invertebrates and help in the dispersal of seeds, aiding in the maintenance of forest biodiversity. The bullet ant serves as a remarkable example of nature's delicate balance between power and coexistence. Their impressive adaptation, complex social structures, and the symbiotic relationships they form with their environment embody the resilience and complexity of life in the world's rainforests. Number 3. Setsafly the setsafly, genus Glossina, is an insect native to sub-Saharan Africa, known primarily for its role as a vector for trypanosomiasis, a disease affecting both humans and animals. Despite its negative impact on human health, the setsafly is an intriguing example of adaptation and survival in challenging environments. Setsaflies are about the same size as a common housefly, but are distinguishable by their forward-projecting proboscis and the unique pattern of their wings when at rest. They live in various habitats, from woodland to savanna, and are most active in warm and humid conditions. Unlike most insects, setsi flies exhibit a unique reproductive strategy known as adenotrophic viviparity. The female produces only one egg at a time, which is retained and hatches within her body. She nourishes the growing larva internally until it is ready to pupate, at which point it is deposited in the soil. However, the setsi fly's most significant characteristic is its role in transmitting trypanosomiasis, also known as sleeping sickness in humans and nagana in animals. The disease, caused by protozoan parasites, can be fatal if left untreated. Efforts to control setse fly populations and thus limit the spread of the disease have been ongoing for decades. Despite the challenges they present, setse flies are an integral part of their ecosystems. They help control the populations of certain mammals, providing a form of natural regulation in their habitats. Balancing disease control efforts with the maintenance of local biodiversity remains a complex task for scientists and conservationists. Number 4. Mosquito the mosquito, belonging to the family Culicidae, is one of the most well-known insects due to its widespread presence and significant impact on human health. Their role as disease vectors makes them a major concern worldwide, yet their life cycle and adaptations demonstrate the intricacies of the insect world. Mosquitoes are small, midge-like flies known for their biting habits. Females feed on blood, a behavior necessary for egg production. They are equipped with specialized mouth parts that allow them to pierce their host's skin and consume blood. Males, in contrast, feed primarily on plant nectar. Their life cycle includes four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Interestingly, the first three stages occur in water, making clean, stagnant water sources crucial for mosquito breeding. The most significant aspect of mosquitoes, however, is their role as vectors of diseases such as malaria, dengue fever, yellow fever, and Zika virus, among others. These diseases result in millions of deaths each year, making mosquitoes one of the deadliest animals on the planet. Efforts to control mosquito populations and develop effective vaccines against the diseases they carry are a significant focus of public health initiatives. At the same time, mosquitoes play an important role in the food chain, serving as a food source for various animals and helping with plant pollination. The mosquito, therefore, illustrates the delicate balance between the necessity of disease control and the preservation of natural ecosystems. Their story underscores the complexity of our interconnected world, where even the smallest creatures can have profound global impacts. Number 5. Kissing Bug The kissing bug, scientifically known as Triatomini, is a subfamily of insects known for their role in transmitting Chagas disease, a major health concern in Latin America. While their impact on public health is significant, the biology, behavior, and ecological role of these bugs also offer an intriguing exploration of insect life. Kissing bugs are nocturnal, blood-sucking insects found predominantly in the Americas, from the southern United States to Argentina. They earned their common name due to their tendency to bite humans around the mouth or eyes, which are often exposed during sleep. However, it is not the bite itself, but their feces, 
which can carry the Trypanosoma cruzi parasite responsible for Chagas disease that poses the real danger. These insects exhibit a wide variety of colors and sizes depending on the species. They share a distinctive cone-shaped head, a beak-like proboscis for feeding, and a flattened oval body. They typically live in cracks and holes of substandard housing, animal nests, or under rocks, emerging at night to feed. The life cycle of a kissing bug consists of three stages, egg, nymph, and adult. Unlike many insects, they require a blood meal to transition from one stage to the next, with nymphs requiring multiple meals as they progress through several instar stages before reaching adulthood. Despite their harmful potential to humans, kissing bugs play a role in the broader ecosystem. They serve as a food source for many animals, including birds, reptiles, and other insects. They also help control the populations of other species by feeding on their blood. However, their role as disease vectors makes them a significant public health concern. Efforts to control kissing bug populations and to treat and prevent Chagas disease are ongoing, particularly in areas where the disease is endemic. The kissing bug is, therefore, a compelling example of how a small insect can have significant impacts on human health and communities. Yet they are also an integral part of the complex tapestry of life, demonstrating the often delicate balance between humans and the natural world. Number 6. Asian Giant Hornet The Asian Giant Hornet, Vespa mandarinia, often referred to as the murder hornet, is the world's largest hornet species, known for its distinctive size, potent venom, and aggressive behavior. Native to East Asia and Japan, this hornet has recently been spotted in North America, sparking interest and concern. These hornets can reach up to 1.8 inches in length with a wingspan around 3 inches. They are recognized by their large yellow-orange heads, prominent eyes, and banded abdomen. Their size allows them to carry a significant amount of venom, making their stings particularly dangerous to humans and other animals. The Asian giant hornet lives in colonies that include a single reproductive queen and many sterile female workers. They feed on other insects and are notorious for their attacks on honeybee hives, during which they decapitate bees and consume the larvae and pupae. Despite their fearsome reputation, these hornets play an important role in their ecosystems. They help control pest insect populations, and their larvae are a source of food for other animals. However, their aggressive behavior, especially towards honeybees, can disrupt local ecosystems and impact human activities such as beekeeping. Number 7. African Elephant Beetle The African Elephant Beetle, Megasoma elephas, is one of the largest beetles in the world, named for its size and the long curved horns of the males, reminiscent of an elephant's tusks. Native to the tropical rainforests of Central and South America, these beetles are a striking example of insect diversity and adaptation. These beetles can reach up to 5 inches in length, with males generally larger than females, they are most active at night, feeding on tree sap and fruit. The most distinctive feature of the males is their long horns, which they use in battles with other males for mating rights. The life cycle of the African elephant beetle includes the stages of egg, larva, pupa, and adult, with the larval stage lasting up to three years. They burrow into the ground and feed on decaying plant matter, playing a crucial role in nutrient recycling within their ecosystem. Despite their intimidating size, African elephant beetles are harmless to humans. However, habitat loss due to deforestation presents a significant threat to their populations. Their presence and health in an ecosystem can serve as an indicator of overall environmental health, demonstrating the interconnectedness of all species within an ecosystem. Number 8. Redback Spider The redback spider, Latrodectus hasselti, is a species of venomous spider indigenous to Australia. Known for its distinctive red stripe and highly potent venom, the redback spider represents a fascinating case study in sexual dimorphism, predation tactics, and adaptation to urban environments. Redback spiders are relatively small, with females typically measuring about one centimeter in body length, while males are significantly smaller. Females are easily recognizable by their black bodies and the prominent red stripe on their upper abdomen. In contrast, males are light brown with white markings and lack the female's distinctive red stripe. Redbacks are web-weaving spiders, 
constructing intricate and irregularly shaped webs in which they ensnare their prey, which includes insects and small vertebrates. They employ a unique predation strategy, using their silk to immobilize their prey before injecting their venom. The life cycle of the redback spider is marked by a notorious behavioral trait, sexual cannibalism. Males, during mating, adopt a somersault behavior that places their abdomen directly in front of the female's mouth parts. Many males are subsequently consumed by the female, a behavior believed to increase the male's reproductive success. Despite their venomous nature, redback spiders are not typically aggressive towards humans. However, they will bite if threatened or disturbed, and their venom can cause severe pain and other symptoms. Anti-venom is widely available, and deaths from redback bites are extremely rare. Redbacks have adapted well to urban environments and are often found in populated areas, living in sheds, outhouses, and garden furniture. This close proximity to humans leads to frequent encounters, making awareness and understanding of these spiders particularly important. In their ecosystems, redbacks play a crucial role in controlling insect and small vertebrate populations. Despite the potential threat they pose, their presence is an essential part of maintaining the balance within their local environments. The redback spider thus exemplifies the paradoxical nature of many venomous creatures. While they may pose a danger to humans, they also play a vital role in our shared ecosystems, reflecting the intricate complexity of life's interconnected web. Number 9. Fire Ant Fire ants, belonging to the genus Solenopsis, are small but formidable creatures that have made a significant impact wherever they have spread. Their name derives from their painful sting, which victims often describe as feeling like a burn. This sting, coupled with their aggressive behavior, makes them a concern for people living in fire ant-infested areas. Fire ants are typically reddish-brown and range in size, with a colony containing both minor and major workers. They are omnivorous insects, feeding on plant material, seeds, and other insects. Fire ants are known for their distinctive mound-shaped nests, which can reach up to 18 inches in height and are usually built in open, sunny areas. Fire ant colonies exhibit a complex social structure with a single fertile queen, winged males for reproduction, and sterile female workers responsible for various tasks such as food foraging, nest building, and larval care. During their mating flights, Queens can travel long distances, aiding the species spread across large areas. While their painful sting and aggressive nature have made fire ants notorious, they are also remarkable for their resilience and adaptability. They can survive extreme conditions from droughts to floods, often outcompeting native ant species and disrupting local ecosystems. On the flip side, fire ants are beneficial in some ways. They can help control pests, such as ticks and cockroaches, by preying on their larvae. However, their negative impacts, including damage to agricultural crops and harm to native wildlife, often outweigh these benefits. The story of the fire ant is one of survival, adaptation, and global spread. It serves as a reminder of the strength and resilience of nature, even in the smallest of creatures, and the challenges that invasive species can pose to native ecosystems and human societies. Number 10. Assassin Bug Assassin bugs, belonging to the family Reduvidae, are a diverse group of predatory insects found worldwide. Known for their impressive hunting skills and powerful bite, these insects are fascinating examples of the myriad ways nature has evolved to survive and thrive. Assassin bugs are characterized by their elongated heads, which house a sharp, needle-like proboscis used for stabbing and consuming their prey. They come in a wide range of sizes and colors, depending on the species. These insects are primarily ambush predators, stalking and attacking other insects by injecting them with a paralyzing venom and then sucking out their insides. While most assassin bugs prey on other insects, some species have developed a taste for vertebrate blood, including that of humans. Despite their potentially harmful impact on human health, assassin bugs play a crucial role in their ecosystems by helping to control insect populations. Their predatory behavior keeps many pests in check, providing natural pest control in various environments. Number 11. Botfly Botflies, members of the family Estridae, are a group of parasitic insects notorious for their unsettling life cycle and impact on both human and animal health. 
While they may be considered repulsive by many, the study of bot flies provides a window into the complexity of parasitic relationships in the natural world. Adult bot flies are typically hairy, resembling bumblebees, and do not feed during their short lifespans. Their primary purpose as adults is to reproduce. It is their larval stage that has earned them notoriety. Female bot flies lay their eggs on or near a host, which can include mammals such as cattle, rabbits, and even humans. The larvae then burrow into the host's skin and develop, feeding on the host's tissue. The presence of bot fly larvae under the skin can cause painful lesions and lead to secondary infections. In some cases, larvae may even migrate to other parts of the body, causing more severe health problems. Upon completing their development, the larvae exit the host and pupate in the soil. Despite their harmful effects on their hosts, bot flies are an integral part of the ecosystem. They serve as a food source for various animals and play a role in controlling host populations. In addition, the study of bot flies and their interactions with hosts has contributed to a greater understanding of parasitology and the intricate relationships between organisms. The bot fly serves as a stark reminder of the diverse and often bizarre strategies that nature has evolved to ensure the survival and propagation of different species, even when it comes at the expense of other organisms. Number 12. Tarantula Hawk Wasp the tarantula hawk wasp is a species of spider wasp known for its stunning size, striking coloration, and formidable hunting prowess. This wasp, found in many parts of the world, exhibits a remarkable predatory behavior that involves hunting tarantulas, a behavior that has earned it its common name. Tarantula hawk wasps are among the largest of wasps, reaching up to two inches in length. They are easily recognizable by their black or blue-black bodies and bright, rust-colored wings. These wasps are solitary insects and are not typically aggressive towards humans unless provoked. However, their sting, though rarely experienced, is reputed to be among the most painful of any insect. The life cycle of the tarantula hawk wasp is intrinsically linked to tarantulas. Adult wasps feed primarily on nectar. The female, however, engages in a remarkable hunting behavior when she's ready to lay her eggs. She seeks out a tarantula, stings it to paralyze it, and then drags it to a prepared burrow. There, she lays a single egg on the still living but immobilized spider. When the wasp larva hatches, it consumes the tarantula, avoiding vital organs to keep it alive and fresh for as long as possible. Once the larva has fully grown, it pupates and eventually emerges as an adult wasp, ready to continue the cycle. Despite their fearsome reputation, tarantula hawk wasps play an important role in their ecosystems. They help to control tarantula populations and serve as pollinators, feeding on floral nectar. The tarantula hawk wasp, thus, provides a compelling example of the extraordinary adaptations and behaviors that insects have evolved to survive and reproduce. They are a testament to the diversity and complexity of life on Earth, demonstrating the intricate relationships between predator and prey. Number 13. Black Widow Spider the black widow spider, part of the genus Latrodectus, is infamous for its venomous bite and the distinct coloration of the females. Distributed worldwide, these spiders are emblematic of the complex interplay between fear and fascination that many venomous creatures inspire. Female black widows are readily identifiable by their glossy black bodies and the characteristic red hourglass marking on their abdomen. In stark contrast, males are smaller and lighter colored with less potent venom. These spiders weave intricate webs, primarily at night, where they lie in wait for their unsuspecting prey. Black widows are not aggressive and only bite in self-defense. However, their venom is potent and can cause severe symptoms in humans, including muscle pain, abdominal cramps, and in rare cases, more serious neurological symptoms. Antivenom is available and death is extremely rare. Their life cycle involves three stages, egg, juvenile, and adult. Females are known for their post-mating behavior, often killing and consuming their mate, a practice that has led to their ominous name. Despite this, males still seek to mate, demonstrating the strong drive for reproduction in the face of potential death. Number 14. Giant Asian Hornet the giant Asian hornet, Vespa mandarinia, often referred to as the murder hornet, is the world's largest hornet species, recognized by its size, potent venom, and aggressive behavior. 
While native to East Asia and Japan, this hornet has recently been found in North America, causing a stir in the media. These hornets can reach up to 1.8 inches in length, with a wingspan around 3 inches. They are recognized by their large yellow-orange heads, prominent eyes, and banded abdomen. The size of these hornets allows them to carry a significant amount of venom, making their stings particularly dangerous to humans and other animals. Giant Asian hornets are known for their attacks on honeybee hives, during which they decapitate bees and consume the larvae and pupae. These attacks can decimate local honeybee populations, disrupting local ecosystems and impacting human activities such as beekeeping. Despite their fearsome reputation, giant Asian hornets play an essential role in their ecosystems, helping control pest insect populations. They also serve as a stark reminder of the potential impact of invasive species on native ecosystems and the importance of biosecurity measures in a globalized world. Number 15. Brown Recluse Spider The brown recluse spider, Loxoscales reclusa, is a species of spider known for its venomous bite and the significant medical implications it can have on humans. This spider, native to the United States, is often associated with fear due to its potential to cause harm, but it also provides valuable insights into the complexity of spider venom and behavior. Brown recluse spiders are typically light to dark brown and identifiable by the dark violin-shaped marking on their back. These spiders are relatively small, with a body length of about 0.6 inches. The brown recluse gets its name from its preference for living in undisturbed, secluded areas such as attics, basements, and closets. These spiders are nocturnal hunters, feeding on small insects. They employ a sit-and-wait hunting strategy, capturing prey that come within their reach. Unlike many spiders, brown recluses do not weave a typical web to capture prey. Instead, they produce irregularly spun, sticky threads to establish their resting areas. Brown Recluse Spiders are not typically aggressive and prefer to flee when disturbed. However, they will bite if they feel threatened, such as when they are trapped against the skin. Their venom can cause necrotic skin lesions in humans, a condition known as loxosalism, which can lead to significant tissue damage and requires medical attention. Despite their venomous nature, these spiders play an essential role in their ecosystems by controlling insect populations. Their presence often goes unnoticed due to their reclusive habits until an unintentional encounter occurs. The brown recluse spider serves as a powerful example of the dual nature of many creatures, possessing both the capacity to harm and to contribute beneficially to their environment. Understanding these spiders is key not just for managing potential risks associated with them, but also for appreciating the intricate balance of nature.